So we're just going to start off with the initial relaxation. So uh, I should just talk this through while uh, Verity demonstrates it. So if you don't, just want to become aware of your body on the floor there, on the yoga mat. Just become aware of the points of contact. Just be aware of your heels on the ground, your buttocks, the back of your head, the back of your hands, the back of your arms. Just let your weight completely drop into the earth. Just feel held by the earth, by the ground. Just know that this is some time and space for you to let go. Let the weight of your day just fall away. Any stresses and strains just going to dissolve. Going to give our body some chance to just regenerate and renew and revitalize. So just be aware for a moment of your breath as it rises and falls in your abdomen. Just gently rising and falling. Just following that rising and falling for a few seconds. And the next time you breathe in, you're just going to raise your left arm over your head to the ground behind you. And then as you breathe out, it's just going to be turned back by the side of your waist. And you're just going to continue following that pattern just for a few rounds. And allowing the movement to coordinate to your breath. You're not forcing your breath to meet the movement, but rather you're allowing the movement to follow the rhythm of your breathing. We're coming back down to the pace of the body, not the pace of our mind or our thoughts or our plans, but the pace that our actual body is operating at and working at now. And next time you return by the side of your waist, just going to do the same thing with the right arm. So again, allowing the movement to ride on top of your natural breath rhythm. Breathing in, and then as you breathe out, just returning back by the side of your waist. And again, just follow this flow for three or four rounds. Again, giving yourself complete permission to follow the natural rhythm of your breath. During this time, we haven't got to speed up or go any faster, as we quite often have to do in life, where we're running around. Here, we're actually going to really slow down to the pace of our body. just one more of those for those of you who might be watching this I'd advise doing this for as long as feels comfortable you know you might feel like you need to do this a little bit longer but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to talk you through the, the sequence slightly quicker than I'd perhaps do it so now we're actually going to move on to doing the legs now so just bring your left leg in in the same fashion. So you're bringing the left knee in towards your left shoulder as you breathe in. Then as you breathe out, you're placing the left leg back down on the ground. And again, keep following that flow. So you're treating the leg with the same attention as you did the arm. Putting exactly the same presence and awareness in your leg as you breathe in. Drawing the knee in towards the shoulder. And breathing out and placing the leg back down on the ground. Quite often in our life we can be a little less aware of our legs. Um, I often say in my class they can almost become like the poor relation. We do a lot of things in life with our arms but here we're going to give the same presence and awareness to our legs each time. Again coordinating them with the breath. Having your attention all the way into your feet, into your toes, into the sole of your foot. And again, just doing that for another round. And then you can swap over to the right leg. Again, the centre of all this is the breath. So the right knee comes in towards the right shoulder as you breathe in. 
and then breathe out and back down to the ground. And again, really inhabiting the leg, really inhabiting your awareness all the way to the tips of the toes. Okay, and this time when you return back to the ground, just going to do a little exercise now just to actually activate the left and right side of the brain together. So you're going to do the left arm and the right leg at the same time. So as you breathe in the left arm comes to the ground behind you and the knee comes towards the shoulder. And as you breathe out they both return back to the ground again. So this is a fantastic exercise just for balancing each hemisphere of the brain. The left side of the brain tends to be our mouth a more thought driven conceptual side and our right sides are more creative aspect of us and it connects into the yin and yang of the body our driving force as opposed to our contractive and restful force it's by working both sides of the brain at once it enables us to balance bring us down out of overactive states And equally, if you're feeling sluggish, it will actually balance that as well. Okay, and just do another round on that side. swap there and so you're doing your left leg and the right arm. What's also particularly fantastic about this is because you're using your arm and leg at the same time again it enables you to have that awareness of how much of your attention and awareness you're equally placing in your arm and leg at the same time. So again as you're doing this just be aware of your foot and your hand equally and obviously right in amongst all that you've got your breath in your centre. So you're working with the full extent of the body, working with the full length of your body, and also being aware of your centre. The breath is the glue that holds us together. This particular sequence activates the relaxation response in the body very strongly. So to be honest, whether you like it or not, if you do this for a while, it will relax you. So it's particularly good to do after a stressful day. And we'll just do one more of those. And then just returning back to the starting position. Just for a second, just draw both your knees up towards your shoulders and just hug them in. You used to have a roll around on your lower back just to ease it out. And then you can stretch back out onto the ground. And in your own time, you can just roll over onto your right hand side. And again, when you're ready, then just come up into a seated position, nice and gently. There we go for our initial relaxation.